If in your workbook you work with information about cities or states, do you know you can pin this information directly on a map? Well, it's very easy with Excel 365, and I show you all the technique in these different situations. Let's consider this worksheet where I have different cities of Texas with the amount of the sale of the three products. As you can notice here in column B, I just made the sum of the column C, D and E. Now, if I want to pin this information directly on the map, how I can proceed? Well, it's very simple. I just have to select the data with a header and I go to Insert and in the section Add-ins, I have the option Bing Maps. And when I click on Bing Maps, I have immediately a map that is appear on my worksheet. The data are not plot yet, no problem. I return to my document, I select again, and I ask to the plugin to add this information on the map. Just like that. And you can see that it works in no time. And if I want to know the detail of one circle, I just have to click on it, and you can see that I have exactly the same value as the one in my document. You can also change the color of the circle when you go in the parameter, for instance, orange, or you can select another map view, like this one, but I don't like it. OK, now let's say I want also to add the information for product A, B and C. This time I'm going to select all the data and once again I reload my map. The representation of the data is not easy to read because now we have four circles from the lowest value to the greatest. No, in this situation it's better to change this option. And we select pie chart. But here again, the representation is not correct because we have perfectly of four values, so the cell product A, B, and C. But the problem here is the cell represents 50% because it's a sum of product A, B, and C. So we must remove the information cell of the representation in the pie chart. Let's say I just want to select the city, and with the control key, I select the colon C, D, and E and I reload my map. It doesn't work because you must have adjacent data colon. So here in this situation, I can just drag and drop to move the content of the colon B at the end of my table. And just like that, immediately, I have only three pi in my pie charts. So as you can see, there is nothing complex here. But if you load more data, you have to work differently. I show you. So this time, I go to this website where I have all the information of the 201st city of United States. I download the file, and when I return to Excel to import a CSV file, you go to Data, from Text and CSV. You select your file, and with Power Query, you can return only the information that you want. If you don't know Power Query, it's the best tool to import or to manipulate data. So here, what I want to keep is the name of the city, the states, and the population 2021. Right-click, remove other column, just like that, and I can rename also the name of the colon. And when you are ready, you can close and load to return to Excel. So now, if I want to see this data inside the map, I return to Insert, Bing Map, I select all my data, and I refresh the map. I can't because I cannot plot more than 100 points inside a map. So, to avoid this problem, what I'm going to do is to create another document with just the information for one state. So first, I need to create a list for the states. So, very simple, I select this column, I press Ctrl to duplicate it, 
I go to data and remove duplicate like this. And also I sort this column, my data as either. Great. When it's done, I create a data validation list. And the source, it's this data. And now what I'm going to do is to use a function filter to extract only the information according the states. So first I select all my data here. And what is my rule? It's for this colon states, is it equal to this cell? And because it's dynamic array, I return a lot of values. Okay, so let's try now. So I select this data and I refresh my table. Bad news, I can't again because I must have only one column with label and the rest of the column must be values. It's not the case here. So what I'm going to do is to return to Power Query. I double click on the query and I'm going to add an extra column where I'm going to merge the city and the states. So I select the two column, I go to add column, merge column, it's comma, like this. There is something I don't like, there is no space after the comma, no problem, I change directly in the formula bar and I validate like this. So now what I can do is just to reorder the column. This time I don't need the column city because it's this one that I want. And I reload to Excel like this. So I check my formula. Does the column state equal G1? Yes. And now because I have the city and the value in the adjacent column. Now, when I reload Arizona, you can see here the different circle for the different cities. I'm going to change the color. Okay. And now if I select another state, California, you have here the different circle, but I have to reselect the data because I have more cities in California rather than in Arizona, like this. And again, if I change the states, Florida, because I have less than 100 cities, always I have the information on the map. Texas. Here we go.